Hey, welcome. Today we've got a special unboxing. You're all probably wondering what's inside. Well, without further delay, let's open up this box and see what's inside. I, of course, will put a link down below where you can purchase this item. Alright, it's out of the box. It's covered in a ton of bubble wrap. And here it is. It's the Legend of Zelda Master Sword Umbrella. Still covered in bubble wrap, but you see the tag. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. The handle is still wrapped in bubble wrap. So let's take all this bubble wrap off so we can see the Master Sword. So here it is, the Master Sword. This part is the handle. It is made of plastic, but you can see it, they did try to stay true and do the detailing on the handle. You can see the screws in the back, but it does look like the Master Sword, even though it is made of plastic and not metal, because if it was made of metal, it would be seriously heavy. It's pretty good detailing on it. Alright, this part here, this is the cover for the umbrella that's supposed to look like the sword itself, and it comes with the strap so you can carry it around and pretend you're like Link. This would go great with your Traveler Shield backpack, which you should totally get and check out my other video on it. So this is how big the umbrella actually is. This is the detailing on the cover of the umbrella. It's got the Triforce. The strap has uh, the Zelda logo on it. But the strap itself doesn't allow a lot of slack. Like, you can't really extend it too, too far, which kind of sucks. But, you know, we're just going to have to make it work. So here's the umbrella. It's got a metal tip so you don't stab people to death. The umbrella itself is blue. The ribbon tap holding the umbrella closed does have a Zelda logo on it. Now we'll open it up and you can look at it. So it's a light blue design. It's very faint. You can see the Triforce. I don't know if I would actually use this umbrella because of the color. What do you expect Master Sword Umbrella to look like? I was hoping for more like maybe a darker earthy tone. Maybe green like Link's tunic. Or like a darker blue like his tunic in Breath of the Wild. So here's some more detailing on the Master Sword handle. It is painted, but it's not exact. It, the coloring isn't like totally precise and perfect, but that's okay. It's a little bit off. I mean, if you can live with that, then great. But if you're one of those perfectionists, then you definitely would not be happy with this umbrella because it's not perfect. Again, this is made of plastic. There attempts to be like a stone or something at the bottom of the hilt, but it does hold pretty well in your hand. And here's a picture of me with said umbrella outside. So you can see what it looks like for scale. And you can see me twirl the umbrella, but the umbrella does cover a decent amount. I wouldn't exactly use this if it's raining super hard because I don't want to okay. like mess up this umbrella. And also, this umbrella came to me dented as you can see from the picture. I didn't realize this till I opened it up outside, but the company was really nice and they sent me a replacement for it. So this is overall a pretty decent umbrella. I think you could fit two skinny people, one average sized person. I don't think you could really put like another person in here comfortably and not get wet. Overall, this is a pretty cool umbrella. If you want to cosplay with it, great. Because you don't actually have to pay for the actual Master Sword. And it will go great with the Traveler Shield backpack. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave comments, questions, and suggestions for future videos. And as always, please subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe.